the extensors of the digital joints, musculus extensor carpi radialis, which originates from the crista supracondylaris lateralis, and it terminates on the tuberositis osseus metacarpalis 3, or metacarpalis 2 and 3 in ruminants, and its function is to extend and stabilise the carpal joint. Musculus extensor carpi ulnaris. Its origin is the epicondylaris lateralis humeri. And it terminates on the carpi assessorum. And in swine and carnivore, it acts as an extensor. But in ruminants and equines, it acts as a flexor. The musculus extensor digitalis communis originates from the epicondylaris lateralis humeri and it terminates on the third ph phalanx of all digits except the first and its function is to extend digits and carpal joint. Musculus extensor digitalis lateralis which originates from the proximal extremities of the radius and ulna and it terminates in horses, it terminates on the phalangis proximalis. In swine, it terminates onto the second and third phalanges. And in this one, the ruminant, it terminates over the fourth digits onto the second phalanx. And in carnivores, it would divide onto the third, fourth, and fifth digit. And its overall function is to extend the digit. Okay, done. The flexors of the carpal joints and the digits. Musculus flexor carpi radialis originates from the epicondylaris medialis humeri. In horses, it terminates on the tuberositis osseus metacarpi 3 and also in ruminants and swine. But in carnivores, it terminates on the metacarpi 2 and 3 and its function is to flex the carpal joint. The musculus flexor carpi ulnaris caput humerale originates from the epicondylus medialis humeri and it terminates onto the os carpi assessorum and its function is to flex the carpal joint. Musculus flexor carpi ulnaris caput ulnare originates from the olecranon ulnare and terminates onto the os carpi assessorum and its function is to flex the carpal joint. Musculus flexor digitalis superficialis. We have um, two portions of this one. We have the portio superficialis and then the portio profunda. They both terminate onto the middle phalanx. And their function is to flex the two proximal phalangeal joints. And then we have the musculus flexor digitalis profundus. Where we have the caput humerale. The caput radiale, which would be on the radius, so inside. And then the caput ulnare. So the caput humerale originates from the epicondylus medialis humeri. The caput radiale um, originates from the middle of the radius. And the caput ulnare originates from the olecranon ulnae. They all terminate on the distal phalanx. And their function is to flex all phalangeal joints and fix the flat lock joints.